Hi everybody, this is Brad Nessler. With me as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. Both teams are looking to make a statement in this bowl game. A win here would carry a lot of momentum into the offseason. And here come the Wildcats. The Wildcats should have their way with this team. Herbie, why don't you tell us about their star? Weaver State has a big-time quarterback who can really put up some big numbers against his defense. I look for him to have an outstanding game spreading the ball to his receivers. Lee, look for a big blowout here. I got to go with the favorite in this one. Got to go with the Wildcats. All right, Coach Corso sounds pretty confident, folks. Let's send it down to the field now for the Coca-Cola coin toss. Festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. Decent kick. Diggs takes it at the eight. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. Well, guys, how do you think this rushing attack is going to do against this defense today? I know that this offense has a wonderful running back. Not so fast, my friend. I think this defense is going to win the battle today, led by a superstar linebacker. Yeah, this linebacker should have a big impact on this game. If he plays well, then the defense will hold up. But if he plays bad, then we may be in for a long day. It's second, second down ten. and 10 to go. All on the 24-yard line. This defense is in the dime. Anthony, option, left side. Laterals back. And down he goes at the 30. Martin gets six yards on the play. That'll bring up third down. Third, third down. Ball on the 30-yard line. The Wildcats come out in the ace formation. Anthony drops back. Throws this one out to the left. It's deflected. Defense looked like it jumped early. Offsides on the defense. I think I saw a line maneuver first. I didn't see anything. But we are way up here in the booth, and the refs are right down there on the field, so we'll have to trust them. Hey, I'm your partner in the booth. You're supposed to back me up on that. First it's first down. down. Ball on the 35-yard line. Weaver State comes out of the shotgun. Anthony, hands off. They'll get him for a loss. No place to go that time, and the offense loses a yard or two. Nice job of plugging up all the gaps and the possible cutback lanes by the defense. They line up at the 32. Ball Second down, 32 13 yard yards to go. The Wildcats come out showing three wide. Anthony drops to throw. Looks. He's going left. And he brings it down. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him a first down. That's just a nice play. First, first down, 10, ten yards Ball to go. Ball right around run. midfield. The Wildcats line up with three wide. And the snap goes to the back. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. Yeah, and that time the defense got him to go backwards. Second, Second down. Ball, Ball on the 48-yard line. line. The Wildcats set up in the gun. He passes it. In 
It's deflected. And that one's incomplete. Johnson was the intended target. That'll bring up third down. Third From the 48-yard line. Ball on the third down. Yard line. From the gun. Drops back to pass. Moves up in the pocket. Hits his man in stride. To the 20. To the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. Guys, how fast is this kid? Well, it's pretty simple. You can see it right there. Nobody on the field can stay with him. This field, I don't think anybody in the country can keep up with this guy. He's out there playing. Catch me if you can. Oh shit, here we go. All right. Had to get on the mic for that. My man QJ got the first touchdown of the game. You know what I'm saying? Quinn Johnson. We got Weaver State, San Fran University. You know what I'm saying? FCS championship game. So let's see how it's going to go down. Now they'll try to tack on the extra point. See, they're trying to take the run game away, so. There we go. He makes the PAT. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Silver. They line up to kick this one away. I wonder who everybody got their money on tonight. It better be we were state. Because <laughs> if not, we'll be a sad puppy. All right, let's go. He comes out onto the field for the first time. The this away team will start, will start the drive at the, the 20-yard line. First, first and 10. ten. Everson is a deep back as they line up in the eye. He throws it, catches it. Everson runs out at the 30. Okay, they like the pass, okay. Not only run the football, but who has good hands as well. Yeah, and this kid just put his hands on display. That's a great pickup by this back. Here's what they've done on offense. Um, Absolutely for amazing. Weaver. Okay, okay, like okay cool, can stop cool. These guys when they've got the ball, Lee. Not bad, not bad at all. This team has been moving the football and scoring on everybody they play. Everson, a lot of handoff. Not a very successful run that time. Did you see no his game on the off one. defensive line? Woohoo! It seemed like he was in the backfield before the ball was even snapped. He just timed the snap count there and really made a nice play. This defense has just been spectacular Damn. this season. First. Yeah, they have some wonderful athletes. Okay. The These guys are very fast. They don't miss many tackles. Well, coach, that's why they have one of the top ten defenses ah. in the nation. Down the sideline. <laughs> to the ten. And he's all the way That's in for the touchdown. He's on a different level than everybody else, bro. He sure is, my friend. This kid is a real deep threat. That, he can stretch the defense and cause him. a lot of problems. I ain't going to blame it on him, though. So. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he tacks on the extra point. With about three minutes to play remaining here in the first quarter, our score, the away team, seven. Weaver State, seven. Game ready to kick. Looks like it's going to be a back and forth game, so that's cool. Kicks it away. Oh, shit. Illegal you can't blame the procedure. That That'll be the kicker's fault 100% of the time. Illegal procedure on the kicking team. They'll be set up with good field position. Good field position. Okay, so let's break their spirit. Send that ball deep. So we messed up 
big time. We're going to break their spirit, okay? That's a legal procedure. I mean, that's one thing you do not want out of your team out of big games like this. It's the FCS championship. You're against the number one team. You know what I'm saying? And you can't be make, giving up good field position like that. You can't be making mistakes like that. You know what I'm saying? Don't break it too bad. I mean, that's the point. But here's what I'm saying. This is I, what I want to know. This is the last game of your season. You know what I'm saying? Gets another handoff. Caldwell with a takedown at the 43-yard line. Four-yard gain by the back. This is the last game of your season, of your regular season. And a lot of people will be going to the, the NFL and a lot of people will be staying. You know what I'm saying? They line up at the 43. Ball on the third of the couple yard line. The Wildcats go with the eye formation. Anthony steps back to pass. Makes a move. Uh-oh. And down he Ryan goes. Kelsey. Okay. <laughs> Defense coming with heat on that play. Yeah, but the offensive line did a good job of picking up their assignments. That gave the quarterback enough time to throw a nice pass. Pick up the first down. Seems like Weaver State came to play tonight. Dunbar Jackson is going for a first first championship. Down, but, but a lot of Ball people wonder, like, why did Dunbar Jackson stop coaching sets up in the eye. FBS to coach FCS? You know what I'm saying? Ooh. The coach FCS. You know what I'm saying? Man, it's like, it's a step backwards, but maybe he feel like he can make a change. He can make a difference anywhere. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't matter if, if he's in FBS or... FCS, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's about to go for his first Ball FCS national line. championship. First and the question line. is, Ball 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 will he go to the NFL or will he go somewhere else? Go with the once again. And, they and the reason I'm speaking off. about NFL because it's week 17. It's week 17 in the, the NFL. You know what I'm saying? Playoffs Boy, what coming. great play recognition so. by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. It's second down and 11 to go. The defense lines up in a dime. He drops back. He looks, and he's hammered as he lets it go. Diggs. And they're in. Touchdown. Okay, Diggs. And it's good for Trey six. Sean Diggs. Got Trey Sean Diggs with the touchdown. This quarterback did an outstanding job of reading the cover. Oh, he got hit when he threw that shit, too. Pocket awareness. Pocket awareness. So how's everybody night going? And they line up for the point after. I'm just chilling and joining this FCS game. Then you got the cricket bow. He makes the PAT. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac Drive somewhere. Tomorrow night it's the cricket bow. Man, I'm blessed. Tomorrow night you got the cricket bow. Then the night after that, you got the um set to kick this one away. Arnold and Pope back ready to return. He sends it downfield. And the night after that, uh, I'm still trying to think of what to call that. Guys, their last possession, they really had good success passing the ball. Colonial Bowl, you know what I'm saying? Like something. Lee, I agree. Make them show you that they can stop it before you change things up. I call it the Tangerine Bowl. I know it's the Orange Bowl. I call it the Tangerine Bowl. It's the FCS. It's the Orange Bowl or the FCS. The Tangerine Bowl. Okay. First and ten. It's for the two. It's for the two. Uh, McFadden looking to throw on first down. Let's it go. There it's we go. Got that defense nice together. Nice timing by the safety to get there and knock it away. Well, that's his job, and he did it perfectly on that play. I know I was saying about the FCS or whatever. Um, talking about Jackson or whatever. Will he go to the NFL? Will he go to the? Um, will he stay here in college? But there's been a lot of speculation so that he's leaving, going to the line. NFL next season or whatever. And if you do, 
congratulations to him. You know what I'm saying? Great Wildcats success. Bring so, in their dime package. But a lot of people want to know. You know what I'm saying? They'll if he goes here. to the NFL next year, what about Quentin Johnson? You know what I'm saying? He's a freshman. What about Bryce Anthony, who's a freshman? What about Juice Martin, who's a freshman? You know what I'm saying? What about Trayshawn Diggs, Traquan Diggs, Ryan Kelsey? You know what I'm saying? Joe Campbell, all these other guys. You know what I'm saying? What about these guys? What are their futures like? You know what I'm saying? Because it's FCS. Okay, I understand. Most guys don't become great on the FCS level until like their last year. You know what I'm saying? He throws it. Interception. Oh. What an interception that one was. He seemingly came from nowhere and boom, he took the ball. My bad. But my thing is, where will their futures lie? You know what I'm saying? Where will they go? You know what I'm saying? How will it be in their futures? You know what I'm saying? Like, will they go? Will they transfer? Will it be a transfer portal? Will it be, um, what? Will it be a, um, who knows? You know what I'm saying? Will it be a transfer portal? Will they follow him to the NFL? But I don't think Bryce Anthony should follow him to the NFL just yet, or Juice Martin or any of those guys should follow him to the NFL just yet. Anthony on the option right. Oh, Bryce Anthony. Oh, Bryce. Oh, he looking like his uncle Darnell Mason out there, man. Running that ball, man. He had to teach him that. Darnell Mason Jr. on the side going wild. Like, He's like, yeah. the great read though great option read great great way to read the option all though. week to defend the option but then again give this offense some credit these guys aren't exactly the scout team great read that was a hell of a right way to read the option it's first down. Bryce Anthony I feel like that if Bryce Anthony would have played like this all season he would have had less interceptions looks to pass rolls right there he goes. There's a missed tackle. Right, look at that. Nobody's stopping this kid. If Bryce Anthony goes to the NFL, which I know he will, like no one's stopping this kid. They line up at the 10. Second down. Martin lines up as a single back. Anthony set to go to the air. Ah, and shit. it's caught. Loss of about two. Makes the catch. Loss of two on the play. I would love to see these kids in the NFL. It's third down, five Juice go. Martin, where are you going to play? Quentin Johnson, where are you going to play? Bryce Anthony, where are you going to play? That's a good question. Anthony flips it left. Spin Ooh. move. <laughs> Seven yard line. And he gets the first down. <laughs> hey, listen, these boys won that championship. These boys won that MCS. They won that MCS. They won it. I'm telling you, like, whoo. What's up? The game is still amazing years later. What's up? Thank you, man. I'm a, uh, my bad. I'm a, uh, hold on. I can't see. First First state, to go. To go my bad. Flea market fl here. floppy disk. I got to bring the computer closer. My bad. What's up, man? I appreciate it. it. How you feeling, man? Welcome to the FCS National Championship game. Weaver State. Weaver State. The San Francisco University. Tackle. You know what I'm saying? Martin Welcome. Gains about a yard on the play. That'll make it second down. Like, I'm still trying to. I'm still trying to debate. I mean, I'm gonna go ahead with another. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead with another uh, college football season. But I'm trying to debate: should I keep it FCS or should I take it to NCAA foot football 14? You know what I'm saying? So that's a that's a little dilemma, man. Man, no problem. Anytime, man. Anytime. That's the dilemma I'm dealing with. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate you coming through, man. If you like like this video, hit that thumb. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, bang that thumb. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, hit that bell. You know what I'm saying? Please. Appreciate it. But uh, what do you say? The physics are better than any Madden I've played since this era. Let me tell you. This is where Madden got all the tricks and trades from. You know what I'm saying? Like, I grew up, you know what I'm saying, on the old Madden the PlayStation. Go with the you formation. Still, why you think I'm still playing PlayStation 2? I know, I know, I know motherfuckers probably like, damn. Brody still playing PlayStation 2? Like, damn, you, yeah, nigga. Like, you can't go wrong with PlayStation 2. Because one thing I say about this game right here, I say it every time I play it. 
the defenses were better on here. The, like, because on NCAA football, yeah, I'll say 12, 13, and 14, the defenses were some trash. But on here, the defenses are better. High formation here. Again, he'll get the call. Touchdown. Touch juice. Juice. Got to put the juice box up. Juice. They created the space for him to run through. Juice Martin. Yeah, the P2 man was. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. That shit was legendary. Like, come on, man. That shit was legendary. Like, I'm going to say it like this. The Madden nowadays, the only thing so they're ready for that the really point. makes it great for real is the animations. I know you can say, hold on. I know I know, I know, I know I can say the gameplay, but listen, though. And it's two different things. Point. I know the That's animations are part of the gameplay, but what I'm saying is the animations, all right, if, if the Maddens nowadays didn't have the animations, the gameplay would suck ass. I would say it would just be bland. You know what I'm saying? Just bland as. That's what I'm saying. Like, I like the animations on that shit. Don't get, don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like they could do better with all that shit. This defense did a nice job yeah, last time around, forcing the interception. And now Hell yeah. You know what's crazy, though? Do they run the I done seen people play the, um, what's that shit called? The, uh, The uh the revamp they got a revamp Let's take a look version at the of this. production numbers brought to you by Coca Cola. I prefer graphic. I prefer the graphic. Yeah, I do too. I do too. The big I, lie, I, do too. Get any I really going. do too. It's tough to get this guy down in the backfield. He's always falling forward. But on that one, they hit him before he could get his weight going forward. Second, second, second down. Ball, ball on the 21 yard line. Yeah, 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 yeah. I heard they got a lot of uh 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 McFadden revamp up mods. With four wide outs. Not actually not I heard I seen a lot of revamp mods. Okay, Joe can uh, can trill. Okay. Yeah, I like the I like the revamp mods. I'm not even gonna lie. They're still the bait I'm gonna say it like that. It's still the original versions, but it's just like new courts and all that shit. But this is my thing though. If you got revamp mods, you might as well go ahead and bring the game back. You know what I'm saying? NILs and all that shit is popping. I feel I feel I feel like they're gonna bring NCAA basketball back, if anything. I feel they should bring both of them back. Oh shit. I believe that the defense was in zone coverage. And when you run the ball in this game, no other game comes close to Oh yeah, yeah, really. Yeah, like the, to get out between the zone coverage. Yeah, they should. They should bring all them shits back. Cause like everybody's revamping the games and shit. Like you can't make money. Oh, this is what I'm gonna say. Instead of making the money off of it, like selling it, have the revamp downloads. Shit. Damn. Travis Miller just got burnt. Have the revamp touchdown, San Francisco University. They're coming back. You know what I'm saying? It's a good game, though. You know what I'm saying? Commentary, talking, and everything. But they should have it as a download on the new gen system. You know what I'm saying? Like this game, NCAA basketball, and college hoops, and every and NCAA football. They should have it as a as a download and not sell it. That's what I'm saying. Like, cause you don't want to. Since y'all don't want to make money off these old games that the old players don't ain't gonna get their money off. Of, then once you just Put it on his downloads. You know what I'm saying? And he converts the extra point. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac Drive summary. Game is lined up to kick this one off. Yeah, the hell yeah, that'd be good. Cause the one thing that'll that'll give a lot of these young niggas and shit a history about oh Travis Miller. History about some of those old players who, who were good on the game. The results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. 
You feel me? Okay, so Weaver State's coming out. You know what I'm saying? First and ten. Second half. Okay, cool. Alone in the backfield. He drops back. Looking. Dumps it. Great concentration. Excellent play. Bryce Anthony is out there showing poise, showing just patience. You know what I'm saying? And coming up with a nice game for the offense. Hit second down and one to go. One possession game. But let me tell you. Just because it's one possession don't mean nothing. Anthony Weaver State to has to get their wide. defense together, man. Because if they don't get it together, steps up. He wants it all. That's that's money. That's money. Complete that's money. Run. He's all the way down to the ten. Excellent recognition. By that's the money. To pick up the blitz and get the ball off in time. On the next level, one of the things you've got to be able to do is read when the blitz is coming. That play shows that he's on his way of being. Hey, don't forget, for man. Defense. I ain't gonna say don't forget, but uh. I never told y'all, uh, soon, soon, very soon, it's coming up, man, like, what's coming up is, um, the red light gaming room, what's gonna happen is, certain nights when I get off of work, after I play the game, or just that certain day, you know what I'm saying, it's gonna be a red room, you know what I'm saying, Looking, rolls to the right, he throws right, and it's gonna be a red room, with number 82 was the intended target on the play a That'll different repertoire games like grant that photo spider-man um wildlands uncharted shit like that you know what i'm saying no sports you know what i'm saying some shit we could just wild out and just be us you feel me from the 10 yard line it's second and 10. The defense sets if it's up not there, five. just throw that line. shit away, bro. Anthony drops back. He looks. Fires to the end zone. He brings it down. Huh. Ryan Kelsey. Touchdown. This defense just doesn't have an answer for him. That's his third touchdown pass of the half. Well, Coach, it starts with the defensive line. This quarterback is going to continue to tear him up until they get some pressure on him. See, it's all about timing, dog. Like, that's all it's about is timing. When you thought I was, uh, especially them, uh, uh, but listen, though, this is the most tricky thing about time, man. A great pass from Bryce Anthony. Touchdown, uh, Weaver State, 27-14. Here's the kicking go for the extra team point, but the extra point. This is the tricky thing about time. Knowing when and when not to throw it. Like, <laughs> my thing is, the, it, the tricky Over thing about football is, is, and this is the zone. The tricky thing about zone, it can be disguised as a man. But then when you throw the ball, it closes into a zone. And you'd be like, God damn, why did I throw that? You know what I'm saying? Or if your quarterback IQ is high enough, you recognize that shit. Oh, man, I can't throw it there. Now your timing is all off. Now you got to find a second option. You know what I'm saying? Arnold fields it at the nine. Two possession game. What okay. What to look for in this drive is to see how often the defense changes up its coverage. They didn't defend the pass very well that last drive, so it's going to be interesting to see if they play them differently here. The will take over at the 26 yard line. Drive. At the 26 yard line. First and 10. McFadden is back in the gun. McFadden to the air on first down. Oh, good one, good one, good one. And he did a nice job breaking up that pass. Well, he did a great job here of not risking a big gain. Instead, he just batted it down. Boy, you better learn how to close that shit down. My bad, my bad. I was talking to somebody for my job. Damn. Second, Second down, down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 26. Yeah. McFadden with four wide receivers. They'll run the option. Looking. Wants to go long and does. And this well, one falls say, incomplete. How oh, the hell is he that cover? Too. Yep, mm. he just overthrew him. Next time he might want to take something off of it. Uh, where you at? Where you at? Okay. They need your help. Who need my help? <laughs> Who need my help? 
Weber State lines up in a dime defense here. McFadden drops back to pass. Mm. He runs the footsteps and makes the catch. Fourth, Fourth down. down. Yeah, they just didn't get enough yardage on that pass. Man, look here. I'm off the clock. Telling you. When I punch out, my finger hits that motherfucker clock. Nigga, you can stick a fork in me because I am done, fool. Fourth and five. They come out in a punt formation. One yard Tanya, I think she left. Butler awaits the snap. But my Punch thing is, away. we're not meat department. You know what I'm saying? We're seafood. You know what I'm saying? Miller so, it at the just because I used to work in the meat department, don't mean I'm a, I know everything. I ain't going to say I know everything. I don't know everything. But what I'm saying is, fuck that. I'm seafood now. Fuck that. So whatever you niggas in the meat department got, got to figure out or whatever. Yeah, I got to figure that shit out on y'all own. Yeah, it sound like a PP. Sound like a BAPP. A big ass personal prop. Anthony options out to the right. And they push him out at the 49. They're not gonna stop Bryce Bryce Anthony from running all night. That's all I'm gonna say. They're not about to stop Bryce Anthony from running all night. But I feel like second so half, they're going to they gonna adjust that second shit. They're going to get that shit together. To Anthony comes to the line. Three wide. Martin will try the left side. And he shot out of bounds at the 45-yard line. So he picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really a nice read. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 45. That's another question. When, when Bryce Anthony Weaver goes to the State NFL, where would he go? Gets the ball. Oh, Washington. where would he go? Where would he land? Like, where do you see? Where, where would his best fit? Where would you see him a best fit at? You know what I'm saying? Like, second, second and eight. Ball on the 43 yard line. They're in the eye. It's the tailback. Oh, good run. Mark third and inches. Oh. That'll bring up third down. It looks like. It looks like he's challenging the play. It looks like uh, Dunbar Jackson is challenging the spot of the ball. Yeah, nigga, that's, that's a first. Come on, man. Uh, that's a first. That's a first. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Dobar Jackson, he got his first challenge. He, got it. he won his first challenge, his first and only challenge. <laughs> man, let me tell you. I'm going to say one thing. This stream is about to get extremely exciting. Like, I'm telling you, like, First, First and ten. ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. Yeah. Weaver State comes out with an eye formation. He gets another Ooh. carry. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. Second We've got second nine. and nine here. Ball on the 33-yard line. The Wildcats line up in an I formation. Anthony with a nice play fake. Throws. What? Oh boy, almost intercepted. That's just good defense right there, coach. That's my Kurt, fault. But you know what? It's all reaction. Anytime you're out there on defense and the pass is within arm's length away, you knock it down. That'll make it third down. Third now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on the 33-yard line. The defense comes out with five defensive backs this time. Anthony back to throw. Across the middle. Ooh, see? That's what I'm saying. It's that timing, player. Now that's what 
you have to do on third and long. Yep, he went right at him and hit him in the mouth. He ripping their That's secondary apart. To get the first down. He, he ripping a secondary and apart. Since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. Their last trip down here was a success. Let's see if this one will result in another touchdown. Someone got a hand up. Great play by the safety to keep him out of the end zone. He doesn't get a hand in there. That's going to be six. Nice individual effort there by the safety. Second, Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 16-yard line. The Wildcats go with the I formation. Okay, there we go. Play action. He passes it. And it's Ryan Kelsey the with the touchdown. And that is touchdown number two. This quarterback likes his tight end. He looks for him and uses it. Okay, Ryan Kelsey with the second yeah, touchdown. We got two touchdowns already like tonight, man. When like, in the trouble, he always seems to find his tight end. I saw that. Big ass gap in the zone. Tear it up. They're not going to stop this. They're not going to stop this. So the kicking team will line up for the point after. But I wouldn't be surprised if they shut that shit down in the second quarter. What I'm saying is, I mean, second half. Second half, I know that I know that Weaver State isn't going to be able to go down the field. They're going to shut it down. So what I, I feel like Weaver State should do, they should come out there second half. They don't get the ball back. They're kicking it. I see why they got the ball in the first half. Well, in the first quarter, the first kick also, that they can control the, control the uh, tempo and the pace and the uh, momentum of the game. So what I feel that they should do when they come back out is just take whatever that San Fran gives them on the defensive side and dig through it. You know what I'm saying? Just dig through it. You know what I'm saying? And then you got the win. You got your FCS national the championship. Really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. The offense looked a bit out of sync on that last possession, coach. And it was the defense that threw them out of sync, Kirk. Those guys are fired up. Let's see the if they can pull them again. Over. Over. Got the it's first, first down. Over. First and ten. ten. Yeah. Weaver State comes out defensively with six defensive backs. McFadden set to go to the air. Got it to the senior. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. Second, second down and six to go. Ball this has been a great game so far. The defense lines up in a dime. Everson on the run. Tackle at the 27. The running back gets two on the carry. It's third and four. Ball of the 27, the Wildcats line up with six defensive backs. Oh, they're not going to run. Well, we've played a half of football. Okay. And our score is Weber State 35, the away team 14. So a second half of the national championship, FCS national championship game, Weber State is up 35-14. Man, let me tell you, Bryce Anthony is coming out there, and he's amazing, man. Already, though, it's not even just about him. It's about everybody else. It's about Quentin Johnson, Ryan Kelsey. You got Travis Miller out there defending. You got Traquan Diggs out there. You got Treshawn Diggs out there on the offensive side, his twin brother. You got Ryan Kelsey. You got, like I said, Quentin Johnson. You got Juice Martin. You got the offensive line out there working, keeping him from being sacked. He hasn't been sacked. He hasn't thrown no interception. Like, he's been... He's been getting it out the way. He's 10 for 14, you know what I'm saying? 207 yards. I, what I think that they should do, like, I think they should go down the field one more time, put the nail in the coffin, and after that, just run the ball and just get whatever that you can. Take whatever you can from the defense because I'm telling you, I don't believe that San Fran is going to let these guys keep going all the way down the field on these guys all game. So, Switch it up. Juice Martin can run the ball. Juice Martin can play. You know what I'm saying? Like you got other guys in the backfield that can that can get you whatever you need. So, you know what I'm saying? Second half. You know what I'm saying? FCS championship. Let's do a die, fool. Let's do a die. Let's go. Second half, y'all. FCS national championship. 
We in the building. Well, we Weaver State will be kicking off to start the second half. Start the second half. He kicks it off. Holt has it at the five. And he couldn't get a thing going with that return, Lee Corso. Brad, Not at all. Okay. They require good blocking and precise timing. They didn't have either one of those things right there. The offense will start at the 14. McFadden back in the gun. He steps up, surveys the field. He snags it. <laughs> and he's tackled. Open field tackle. But you know what's crazy? McFadden was in the race to be the player of the year, which is the highest middle here. Second but ball he, ball I, don't, I don't know what happened, why he dropped out of the race, but maybe because of that skid they took. He's looking to pass. He's That's, looking down the middle. And he's got him on the fly. And he's all the way down to the four That four-game skid line. they took, but I mean, what's good, Silo? How you feeling? How you feeling? I, I mean, that four-game skid they took, but uh, they the still ended the season 7-5, so. All year. First We've ten. got a first and ten. Ball on the 40. The Wildcats bring in their dive package. Yeah. Oh. Part of the option. Oh. Allen tackles him at the 43. It's he all kept good. it himself and this. picked up a good looking first down. Another reason why I love the option. Just when you think he's going to pitch it. He cuts up the field and keeps the ball himself. No question, Coach. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Weaver State lines up in a dive defense here. Throwing right. It's tipped. Incomplete. Oh, Travis catch, Miller almost had that, though. Like, come on, Travis. You got to get that, that player. It's cool. Out of bounds. That kid had no shot to make the catch. It's cool, Travi. We got your back, baby. It's second and ten. Ball on the, the 43-yard line. Weaver State comes out defensively with six defensive backs. McFadden. Option right side. Fakes a pitch. Damn, He's they tackled. keep fucking me up with that option. He kept it's cool. It himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Another reason why I love the option. Just when you think he's going to pitch it, he cuts up the field and keeps the ball himself. It's no cool. question, Coach. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. First, first, first down. The defense comes out with five defensive backs this time. Ooh. McFadden makes a handoff. Complete. It was ready. Defense was ready. Defense was ready. Second, Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 26. Defense was ready. The Wildcats bring in the nickel package. Everson gets the call. Uh, Britt with the tackle at the 17 yard line. Gain of nine. Nine, nine yard gain, gain on the play. Ain't gonna fool me. Uh. Here's the eighth play of the series. McFadden with four wide receivers. On the option, lets it fly. <laughs> there we go. I had to call something, man. I had to switch something up, man. I had to switch something up, man. He got scared. It's four down. This one is from 30 to yards away. It's up, and it's oh. right down the middle. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. Okay. 35-17. Kicks off. I'm hungry again. Miller fields it at the three. 
Travis Miller with the with the, uh, the I think I'm gonna take him. Well, it's the last game of the season, so. Here are the offensive production stats brought to you today by Coca-Cola. Yeah, I'm hungry as shit right now. Don't worry. Anthony on first down. Slips it short. He tries to spin. Ooh. The 50. Ooh. At the 40. At the oh 30. Oh, my the goodness. To Gotta call him. Call him. Who? Jesus. Get the ball in the end zone. He's about to tie the NCAA mark for passing touchdowns in the season if he can get just one more. No surprise there. He's been picking a part of opposing defenses every game he stepped on the field. Oh, my goodness. We got to take a look at that touchdown one more time. One more time. Got to check that out. One more time. Uh, uh, great timing. Oh. Uh, bing, bing. E, walla walla bing bang. Man, Diggs just cooked his ass. Diggs just did his ass in. Uh, uh. He just did his ass in. Oh, 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 you ain't gonna catch me. He smoked all they asses, though. Uh, uh. Oh, look, oh, look, oh. He did. He smoked all their asses, though. Touchdown, Trey, Trey, Sean Diggs. Weber State. Here's the kicking team to try the extra point. He makes the PAT. So with Hello. less than four minutes to go in the third quarter, the oh, score is Weaver State 42, the away team 17. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. Okay. Here we go. Okay. From his own end zone. To the end zone. Uh. Good tackle. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their I see what position. they're trying to do, but there's still a lot of football left. They'll no, take over at the and a quarter and a half left, so. First and ten. Six DBs in the lineup. He's looking for his man. His receiver has it. Nice catch by the receiver. That, was, that, that was reception good. put him yeah. over the century mark for the day. And you want to know something, Kirk? What's that? This receiver is the real deal. He's a great playmaker. First, First and ten. ten. Okay. This defense he got some is good in the numbers. Nine. Got great numbers. He's looking. Oh. Someone got a hand on it. Way to keep your head on a swivel, kid. That was a nice job of locating the football and knocking it down to prevent the completion. Sure was, coach. He put himself in great position to make a play. Second, Second and ten. ten. Second ball down, ball ten ball yards to go. Yard ball on their own 33. Yeah. Weber State lines up in a dime defense here. McFadden running the option. And they make the stop. Okay, I see what they're doing. Run. Okay. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. And Kirk, I see what the they're doing. Okay. Has to do a lot better job of defending the option. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers. Brought to you by Coca-Cola. The Wildcats line up in a nickelback. McFadden looking to throw on first down. Ooh. Oh, they tried to squeeze that one in there. Forget about it. Yeah, okay. Second so it's second and ten. ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. Linebackers move over. They'll run the option. Told you. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. 
Peep that, yeah. They line up in the 47. We've got a third and six. The line is making some adjustments. Defense with the option. Ooh. That's a great tackle at the 47. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. Good thing that wasn't a turnover. I thought he was going to pitch it there. Figure they offense out, so yeah, it's game now. I figured they offense out. The punt team lines up. He punts this one high in the air. Miller Damn, fields I it call fair catch, but it's all the good. Offense is back on the field again, and their last drive, they moved the ball very well. You got seven touchdowns on the on on, uh, for touchdown. returns. It's first and ten. Weber State goes with the ace set here. Tosses it out. Washington Juice. brings it down. At the okay, point Juice. Seven. And a huge run by the tailback. This guy's always had outstanding vision, but it seems he's got some incredible quickness as well once he gets into the open field. Boy, you're right. This kid showed me he's a great-looking athlete. First down. Weber State comes to the line with three wide. Drops back on first down. Looking. Rolling out to the right side. Catches it. Hunt with a takedown at the 29. With nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Second it's second down. Ace backfield. Anthony drops the throw. Looks. He zips it out to the right. And it's caught. Excellent oh. open field tackle. That was a laser, Kirk. This guy has a huge arm. Yeah, it's like he's throwing darts, but it's coming at about 86 miles an hour. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics. And brought to you by Coca-Cola. That's what I that's what they like to see. That's what Dunbar Jackson likes to see. Martin lines up as a single back. Anthony drops back on first down. I saw that shit coming, but I thought I could get the pass. Rivers comes away with a sack. Second and long. Ball on the 33 yard line. They're stretching the field. Okay. Martin is the single setback. Looks to pass. Looks. He lets it go. Got him on the run. Oliver tackles him at the 44. And guys, you can just feel the momentum building with this drive. That's their third first down on this drive alone. <laughs> yep. Got him. We all know how important momentum is in college football. This defense really needs to step up and get some of it back. First, First and ten. ten. Ball on the 44 yard line. Yard. They come out in a nickel. Drops back to pass. Slips it short. Tackle made at the 34. I'll tell you, this receiver showed really good hands on that play. This kid is always calling for the ball. And if he keeps making plays like that, he'll continue to get the ball. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. The defense lines up in a dime. That's three down and one to go. Our score is Weber State 42, the away team 17. Okay, we got one left, one left, one left, one quarter left. Put your fours up, fool. Put your fours up. First, First and ten. ten. Ball on the 34 yard line. The defense is looking for the pass as they bring out their dime package. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped them yet. He throws. Oh, shit. And it's caught. <laughs> He's going to take it to the ball. 
<laughs> Touchdown, Trayshawn Diggs. Bryce Anthony to Trayshawn. He said, I got it. He said, I got it. I said, I see you. I see you. I see you. I see you. Man, that was a hell of a throw. Hey, uh, this is a great game tonight, dog. Like, I, that was a great game. This is a great game. Uh, let me get that. So I see you. Uh. Who, me? <laughs> This game like that. Hey. Here's Focus. the try for the extra point. Adamant. I'm proud of the young boy. I taught him everything. And he tacks on the extra point. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Right, you need to take that motherfucking boy dig off his head. <laughs> motherfucker got egg yolk on this shit. Fuck a head like and a knee pad. Like ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off. Arnold fields it at the two. They've been getting walloped all day, but at least they're still working hard. I'd like a team that never quits. What you laughing at? Here's a look at the offensive production statistics brought to you by Coca-Cola. One man backfield. McFadden gives it up the middle. And down he goes. And the 26 with Jerry picked up a yard of anything on that run. Second, Second down. Ball on the 26-yard line. Three-man front defensively. Uh, McFadden oh. running the option. Throws this one out to the left. Told Incomplete. you. Incomplete. We figured it out. Off. We figured Arnold that offense the out. Like, on the play. That'll bring up third down. What? Where at? Third it's third and ten. <laughs> Ball on the 26. Nah, your ass crazy if you thought the score was 75. And he's Fourth down. They're not getting nothing anymore. It's over. Well, this defense looks very impressive right now. They suffocated the offense that go around. Fourth and six. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Miller is back awaiting the punt. He gets it away, calls for the fair catch. Yeah, call it this time. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. They'll Four start minutes left the in the game. I think that Weaver State, they're just going to drain this and call the it a fair catch. So. The nine package. Martin will try the right side. Spinning. Ooh. Oh my Jesus. I think this offensive line is getting better and better as the game goes along. And coach, I'll tell you what, I think they're killing right. the will on this huh? defense. And I don't think they're done just yet. Yeah, that that's D1. I don't know what that's say, but I feel I see UFC and free BB and I feel you. How you feeling, homie? Here's a look at the offensive production statistics brought to you by Coca-Cola. The Wildcats come out of the ace formation. Anthony will hand it off. Washington brings him down at the 49-yard line. Martin gets about a yard on the play. That was a hell of a run. The first one in the beginning, though. They want this game. Let me tell you, they going, they going, they going, they going to get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, this game. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know they tell us to be impartial as, you know what I'm saying, but. Second down. Ball on the 49 yard line. Martin alone in the backfield. Martin gets 
it on a pitch. Spin move. Ah, Richard shit, it ain't brings work. him down it's for a time. loss. They got great run support from the safety position on that one. He had his eyes in the backfield that whole play. Great Third anticipation to stop the ball. Ball. 50 50 yard line. Weber State comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Back to pass. Surveys the field. Complete. There's a very impressive open field tackle. The quarterback just rifled that one in there for a good game. Boy, he's throwing the football with some pop, isn't he, coach? Hey, if he's not careful, he's going to break his receiver's fingers. Oh, they going for it. They're going for it. They put everyone up on the line. And they get it. They get it. Fields. Okay, Fields. So they couldn't stop him on fourth down. Yeah, and I bet that defensive coordinator down there is pulling his hair out after giving up that run. Yeah, that's game. They 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 just run the clock out. They're just gonna run the clock out. Two minutes left. Weber State will march on to take their first FCS national championship. Here's the option. Hunt with the tackle at the 32. In program history. It's second down and five to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. Anthony is back in the gun. Martin gets the call again. Hey, juice! At the 29-yard line. Martin gets three yards on the play, so that'll make it third down. Come out in the shotgun. They'll run the option. Diving for extra yardage. And they convert on third down. Let me tell you, anytime you run the there option, it, it really makes the other team afraid to blitz. Because if you blitz to the inside, it's going to the outside and vice versa. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice He's about to take the knee and just, uh, matters uh. most. In the red zone again. Let's see if it'll be another touchdown. That's it. The knee. The knee. The knee. The knee. From the 14 yard line. It's second down and 12. What they gonna take? The defense comes the out knee. with five defensive backs this time. They the knee. knee. One more time. What they gonna take? The knee. The knee. Well, I can't argue with this decision. Here's the Coke players of the game. Bryce Anthony, he got it. The defense sets up in the dime. The defense calls the timeout. And that was their first timeout. What? <laughs> The knee, the knee. They gonna take the knee, the knee. Four, 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 four
drive. The play clock's at zero. They, oh, <laughs> they hurried up. <laughs> Gabe is over now. And they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, they can just keep their concentration to avoid situations like that. Four looks like they've decided to go for the knee. Weaver State comes the out with the shotgun. Not in this one, though. Anthony, options right. He spins. <laughs> wait, wait, it made me spin it right away. <laughs> There it goes. Weaver stay. This one's all wrapped up. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? I can't say enough about this performance. Got their first FCS championship in school history. Dominating on both sides of the ball. They got to feel pretty good after blowing out a team like this. Well, it's been a pleasure bringing you this game. Again, our final score, Weaver State 49, the away team 17. And that was a double ass game. This is Nestler with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet saying thanks and so long. He didn't throw no interceptions. Why did he wait till he get to the one of the biggest games of his college career to not throw an interception? But one thing about Bryce Anthony, Bryce Anthony only threw about one or two interceptions every game. So it wasn't like like interceptions was a big thing for him. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it really wasn't. He's not known for throwing interceptions. You know what I'm saying? Like He has thrown interceptions, but he's not known for throwing them. Shout out to Bryce Anthony and his clique and his crew. You know what they do. Woo do woo. Darnell Mason Jr. is proud of his little honk me. He taught him well. He's just over there on the sideline, taking it in. He was only sacked once. That man, that offensive line did a hell of a job. 300, yeah, 375 yards. They did a hell of a job. Rushing the ball, 132. They did a hell of a job. But too bad this offensive line might be broken up next year. Because my thing is, who's to say? I mean, Dunbar Jackson just took Weaver State to their first FCS championship in school history ever. They might not ever see another championship for another, what, 100 years or so, what? You know what I'm saying? So what I'm saying, <laughs> why you say damn? <laughs> yeah, they haven't won a, a, a FGS championship ever in school history. Yeah, ever. Yeah, but yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? They might not ever see another championship, FCS championship. If they do, then I hope they do. You know what I'm saying? But if not, then... You know what I'm saying? So that leaves a lot of questions for this this, this for this for that leaves a lot of questions for this program up in the air. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to see what they gonna be cracking on next season. But my thing is, if y'all want FCS again or y'all want me to do NCAA football, then let me know. You know what I'm saying? But what? NCAA football? Oh, all right. We just got to put it in the chat. But look, we were state controlled most of the game. 15 minutes and 50 seconds. Like, I control most of the game. Shout out to Bryce Anthony. He is the FCS champion, and they had the first and they had the uh, first and ever inaugural uh, FCS Las Vegas championship game. They had the game in Las Vegas, so they had tried it in a new venue. You know what I'm saying? Because the Raiders opened their stadium. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. So they had it in Las Vegas. So yeah. So now it's time to get ready. I gotta, I gotta do, I gotta do. 
I got to do some games tomorrow and the days after that. And then I got to do some college NBA. So the next games y'all see, okay, so tomorrow is the Cricket Bowl between Jackson State. The Cricket Bowl between Jackson State and USC. And then you got the, the Tangerine Bowl between George Washington and George Mason. So, yeah. Ryan Kelsey, man, he did that. Five pancakes, five pancakes, three pancakes, two. Senior. Right guard, he's a sophomore. He's a senior. See, they whole line about to leave. Yeah. Their whole line is leaving. Oh, yeah, he's going to the draft. Willie Brooks. Oh, yeah, he's going to the draft. <laughs> Willie Brooks, Brooks is going to the draft. Marcus Martin. He's going to the draft. Nah, because uh, Willie Brooks, he's a uh, he won best offensive lineman out of the country. Oh, I thought that was the senior. Oh no, nah, two Marcus. Oh, this. Oh, that's Marcus Allen. Oh yeah, Marcus Martin. See, yeah, their whole defense is about to go. Travis Miller, he's a freshman. Traquan Diggs, he's a senior. But he still has a year of eligibility left, so he can go to another FCS program or he can go back to FBS. See, look, Adam Carr, cornerback, yeah, yeah. I think it's best for Bryce Anthony to transfer to an FBS program. Yeah, it's best if he transfer. I'm not, and Juice Martin is what a freshman. Ryan Kelsey is what. I think he should stay one more year because he. I'm not gonna say. Okay, he didn't. Okay, Ryan Kelsey had a amazing year, but when it comes from me, amazing means. Um. When I say amazing, I mean, okay, I, 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 excuse me, I give it to you hands down, but it wasn't spectacular. Only 600 and some yards. Of course, he had 13 touchdowns, but only 600 and some yards. I believe that he can be a 1,000-yard receiver. And then going to the NFL, that really isn't going to cut it. Don't get me twisted. Ryan Kelsey got a lot to work on. He's a junior. I believe he should take one more year and stay and work on his games. And let me tell you, when he comes out, I think he'll be one of the greatest receivers ever. Like, he can play slot, wide receiver, all that. Like, Quinn Johnson is a sophomore. Okay. On their SES championship, forty nine seventeen. I believe they could have put up more points, but I'm like I would feel like they didn't because they didn't want to run these fools into the ground. Cause I already saw what type of game it was from the beginning.
They could have ran up 75. Shout out to Bryce Anthony, Ryan Kelsey, and Trey Con D- Treshawn Diggs. See, that's what I'm saying. If Treshawn Diggs go to the NFL, like what's going what's going to happen? FCS Championship. So we just got done with the FCS National Championship. Now, so what I'm going to do is, like I said, we still have some more bowl games tomorrow well, uh, coming up soon. You know what I'm saying? So this is what's going to be cracking. You know what I'm saying? The bowl games. FCS National Championship, boom, it's done. You know what I'm saying? So tomorrow we got the Oh shit my bad We got the Tangerine Bowl tomorrow night Then we have the Cricket Bowl following the next night And these will all be on If you don't catch it If you don't catch these games You can catch the highlights of them on Dirty Creek Sports Network Highlight Reel But yeah um, And I appreciate y'all coming in man I appreciate y'all coming through Fucking with the Oh hold up We're uh South Dakota State, okay. Jackson State gonna get walked. <laughs> gonna get walked off. Um. <laughs> yeah, I know so. They play USC. They gonna get walked on. That's it. I want to see what Shador Sanders going to do. They going to get walked on, fool. Yeah, mama turn into the tangerine ball. That's going to be a great game. But I appreciate y'all coming through, man. All this gravy, but man, I appreciate y'all coming through. Appreciate y'all for watching. Thank y'all for banging that thumb and man, hitting that bell, fool. Like, I'm gone for till tomorrow, man. Peace and love, y'all. Can't forget that, dog.